さあ今日はねリッチコッツェンを、えー、迎えてお送りしてるんだけどね、えー、ここのとこすごい勢いでとにかくアルバムいっぱいリリースしてるんでその辺の話を、えー、ゆっくり聞いていこうと思う。So you've been releasing a whole bunch of albums? Yeah. yeah. I've been real busy. Yeah? Yeah.、Um, I just got a lot of music that I recorded and I wanted to get it all out there. But、um, the most exciting thing for me right now is the, the Wave of Emotion album because it's,、uh, it's got everything on it. It's got the funk, it's got the rock, and there's some fusion chops in there.、Mm -hmm. so. Um, so, you've been doing the Tilt, the Tilt album with Greg Howe?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how did you get to know him?、Um, well,、um, Greg and I are both from the Philadelphia area.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, when we were younger, we played in cover bands and did a lot of the same clubs. And so,、uh, I've always so known, known about him. You've known him for a long time. Yeah, I've known him for years. And he had approached me about doing Tilt, you know, because、mm -hmm. he wanted to do a project with another guitar player. And、uh, so. He、definitely was a challenge to keep up with him because he's one of the best. So, yeah, had, but you're also one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, you don't have to say that. But that was a fun record to make. And then after doing that record,、um, I decided to do my own fusion album.、Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I've been a, a big fan of the Mahavishnu Orchestra and、uh, early Alan Holdsworth. So,、uh, I did that kind of fusion vibe on,、uh, on the intergalactic fusion experience.、Mm -hmm. yeah. So, cool. what's that、um, orchestra? What, what's Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu Orchestra. Mahavishnu John McLaughlin. Orchestra. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, Sorry, I don't know. Uh, you don't know that? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. It's like some 70s fusion that、uh, he's kind of the king, as far as I'm concerned,、uh, of the, the fusion guitar vibe. But、um, it's not that important. Unless you play guitar, you probably wouldn't. So,、um, Wave of Emotion is actually. Is that like. A carry on of Motherhead?、Yeah. Kind of. I mean,、uh, I, after, after the.、Um, After the whole poison thing happened, which I probably shouldn't have even brought up, but <laughs>、um, I went on to do a, a record for Geffen. And、uh, that was the Motherhead record,、yeah. which was more of a, a rock kind of record, but still had you know, my、uh, RB and funk influence、uh, in the record. And、um, from there,、uh, I wanted to do Wave of Emotion. But I, I just had to find the right label because, you know, I'm coming from a place where I'm mixing uh, uh, rock and like old funk and RB, like Parliament、yeah. and Sly and the Family Stone. And it's kind of hard to, because it's a, a unique kind of mixture, it, it can be hard to find a label that is right for that kind of music. And unfortunately, Geffen was not the right label for that kind of music.、Um, so I hooked up with Polystar and recorded the Wave of Emotion album. I、uh, produced it myself and recorded it in a private studio. And、uh, it's probably my best work because I was left to my own devices, you know. And I'm, I'm really into the record, so I'm happy with it. Okay, we'll play that Motherhead's Family Reunion. Right on. Right cool. On. Okay, so check it out.
This song was called Stoned. Ain't no hallucination Is my imagination running away from me I once was fantasizing But now I'm realizing Love is the way for me My past is lost and jaded How long have I been waiting Oh, she's the one for me For someone to come Who can make me understand I've been stoned This time I got what I prayed for Was it long? But now I know what I waited for I will stay for you I come to my decision I just can't go on living my life without someone I never had a reason But you got me believing that something's going wrong I've been looking for someone to come Who can make me understand I've been stoned this time Great. Man. Right off oh. the album, Wave of Emotion, Stone. Right? That's it. Yeah. So, um, okay, questions. Questions. Um, questions. You sing good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, that's not you a know, question. You know, that's a song that actually, yeah. um, I can't take all the credit for Stone because um, it was a song I co wrote with uh, Glenn Hughes. Glenn who, Hughes. From uh, oh, Deep yeah. Purple uh, fame. He's doing like the backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, on that song, he actually, on the, on the record, um, it's a really interesting thing we did because at one point I was writing songs with Glenn for his record mm -hmm. uh, and we demoed the songs. And Stoned was the song that we demoed originally with him singing it, and we did all the background vocals together. Yeah. When I re-recorded it for my record, uh, I loved the way his voice sounded and the harmonies and the chorus, so I took them off the demo and flew them in to my record. So it's really cool that, you know, I've got Glenn's voice uh, on the song with me singing the lead. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's like one the of the best singers in the world as far as I'm concerned, so it was an honor to write with him and to... You know, have him on my record, so That's there's cool. a little story behind that too. Yeah. So, um, so he influenced you a lot as a singer. Um. You? Well, yeah, actually, he, I, he's definitely an influence for me. Yeah. Um. You know, the singers that influenced me the most were guys like, uh, you know, Sam Moore from uh, Sam and Dave and Al Green, and uh, as far as new singers, um, uh, Glenn's definitely you yeah. know one, one of the one of the best and. Uh, uh, there's so many people that are so talented, you know, and I, I think uh, a lot of my influences, you know, they just pop up mm -hmm. in different songs, you know. What? Uh, Al? Al Green? Al Green, yeah. 
、うん、アルグリーンとかね、えーまあ、そんなところなんだけど、えーね、とにかく今回ボーカルに力入ってたんだけどやっぱり、えー、リッチー・コッツェンといえばギターだよね、えー、ギターどんなねあのギタリストに影響を受けたのか受けたのかとかそういう話を聞きたいんだけど。What kind of guitar players have been influenced by? Um, I guess guys like、um, in the beginning, you know,、uh, I listened to people like、uh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. And then、You've、I kind of. y o u been releasing those、um, instrument, instrumental albums. I kind of started, you younger, yeah. I got my、like, break, you know, kind of playing like、uh, those instrumental songs.、Uh, you know, when I was 18, I did my first record. It was more of like a heavy metal record with the guitar playing the lead because、yeah. at that time I couldn't really sing very well. And then I sort of kind of evolved into being. Able to somewhat sing.、Mm. <laughs> um, but,、uh, you know, guitar players George Benson,、uh, John McLaughlin,、um, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, that's kind of the guys yeah, that have the been. Blues guitar players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> そっかあのねまあやっぱ若い頃はエディ・バンヘレンとか好きで昔ね、えー、18の頃に、えー、ソロアルバムリリースしてるインストだったんだけどやっぱその頃まだね、えー、歌にはま自信なかったみたいなこと言ってるんだけどヘビーメタアルバムでね、えー、そのうち、えー、まあジョン・マクラフィンとかねあとベン・ジョンソンだっけベン・ジョンソンじゃねえよ。So,、um, the last time you came to Japan was with Team Stephen. That's right, yeah. That, that's the first time、uh, I ever performed in Japan. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. I had a、no, great time. I bet there were a whole bunch of guitar kids out there to check out. Yeah, between、so. having、uh, me and Al Petrelli and TM,、yeah. it was kind of a, a cool guitar extravaganza,、mm-hmm. shall we say. <laughs> I don't know how to translate that word. Oh,、uh, that's、uh, all right. So,、um, I bet there are a whole bunch of people out there. Waiting for you to come to play again. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you going to bring TM Stevens along?、Uh, as yeah, bass he, he better be coming along. I'll be、yeah. whipping his ass. But now, he, yeah, he's going to come and uh,、um, we're going to just tear it up. I think、uh, we're in the plans now of figuring out what、uh, scheduling was, you know, when the best time would be.、Mm-hmm. And I want to,、uh, you know, promote the new record, do a lot of stuff from Wave of Emotion, do some of the stuff from、uh, the Geffen album.、Mm-hmm. What are you going to、so, do after you leave Japan? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. No? <laughs> I think I, well, I'm supposed to go. Go back to the go, States first? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go back to the States and I'm probably going to go back to New York and、mm-hmm. uh, help uh, TM with his new record.、Um, you know, he wants、oh, yeah. me to write some songs with him. So,、uh, that sounds cool too. Yeah, that's, that's next. I'm, I'm going to hopefully play on, on his album and then、uh, do some shows. I'll probably go and do some shows in the States as well. With、yeah. my, you know, put a group together and do some shows there and get my chops together. So when I come here, I can rock. All right.、Yeah. So at,、um, at the end, we're going to play your latest video, Wave、okay. of Emotion. Yeah. Yeah. And、um, you've been dancing around on the video. I do a little, you know, you know, the thing is, it's really funny with like, the whole dancing thing is that I, I was dancing before I could walk. And, like, my mother's got videos of me like, in the crib like, dancing, and then I start crying because I can't get back down. You know, I, I think it just comes from you know, the rhythm, you know, just hearing the.、Uh, Growing up listening to like, you know, the Stevie Wonder records and、uh, Sly and the Family Stone and that、mm-hmm. sort of thing, you know, just really rhythmic kind of music is,、yeah. is kind of where it's at for me. So I、uh, can't help it, you know? Any, did you take any dance lessons? No, no, I'm not, it's not that vibe. I kind of just, you know, just feel it, you know, kind of go with it, you know?、Right. I'm not really like、uh, a Michael Jackson or anything, <laughs> you know? So、um, you want to introduce your own video? Yeah,、um, this is Wave of Emotion. It's the new video from the new record on Polystar. Check it out.
二組目のゲストです二組目のゲストは以前やはりこの港未来二十一スタジオに遊びに来てくれたことがあります、えー、ニューアルバムをリリースしたばかりなんですけど早速ご紹介しましょうリッチーコッツさんです皆さん拍手をお迎えください髪を切っちゃったねアロリッチーアバイアバイカンバイということで、えー、早速ねお話を伺いしよう前、このスタジオに来てくれたことを覚えてると思うんですけど、その時からだいぶこうムード、ファッション、髪型、全部変わりましたね。So last time you here,、uh, you had a di completely different fashion and you look different, very different this time, but、uh, how did that happen?、Uh, um, my wife is now hit the scissors because I keep chopping at my hair.、Um, I'm just, you know, I guess I'm kind of、uh, into、uh, just being creative all the way around, you know, not only just with writing music, but messing with the way I look too, you know. So you're good friends with the Eric from the Mr. Big? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a great band. I love Mr. Big. And、uh, I was just, it's so funny because before I came here, Eric had called me to tell, yeah, and, and we, I had no idea that he was going to be here when I, when I was here. So I was, I'm so nervous, man. All these people staring at me. So you have performed with Eric on a certain stages? And the, yeah. yeah, we played together. Yeah. It was great fun. How was it?、Yeah. Great fun. So, everybody knows that you're a great guitar player, but、uh, Masa thinks, to, as this record, you know, we would like to spotlight you more as a vocalist. But,、uh, yeah, this record is based way more on、uh, the drums and, and vocal,、um, which I guess are kind of the two most important aspects in music. Without the rhythm and without the melody, you're kind of screwed out of a song, you know? <laughs> But、um, that's right, you know, most people know of me from playing guitar, and、uh, I kind of, it's, it's kind of frustrating because it's like, it's like, you concentrate on the fact that, yeah, I play the guitar, but it's like looking at a picture and only looking at like the bottom half, you know, I mean, there's a lot more there than just the fact that I play the guitar, and I hope to reach, you know, a lot more people with this record, and、uh, hopefully they will accept me. So you look like a 60s mod. And I'm going, through that, I'm going through that phase right now for some strange reason. I don't know why. But it's like every six months, like I completely change. I don't, know, I don't know why that is. I'm like turning into a chameleon. I can't help, <laughs> I can't help it though. <laughs> なんかね、あの6か月ごとに全部自分のファッション変えて、ねうん、だからカメレオンみたいにコロコロファッション変えるのが今趣味なんですって今そのモッツのフェーズにちょうど今と来てるわけだ、うん、ねえモッツって皆さん知ってますよ60年代のねザ・フーとかあの時代のねスモールフェイスですとかなんかそういう時代のなんかこうファッションよく似てるさあ、えー、早速ですね一度このビデオをご紹介したことがあるいは、えー、気がしますそうですよねさあ、えー、じゃあリッチーから、えー、新しいですねビデオちょっと紹介していただけますでしょうか、so、はい Please introduce yourself OK the video the video this is、uh... Uh, from the record、uh, Wave of Emotion. もうね、今見ながら話してたんですけど、今はモッツですけどね、この頃はちょっとグラムが入っててね、やはりあのね、サテンのパンツが結構ね、来てますね、私も70年代入ってたことありますけどね、えー、あの映ってる方がひょっとすると、奥ちゃまですか So that was your wife performing in the video. That's, that's right, and she actually wrote the song with me. そうですか一緒にあの曲を聴いてくれて She's singing in the background, the, the background vocals is her. バックラウンドボーカルも彼女だ。あ、そう。彼女からは音楽的にどんなインスピレーションを彼,彼は受けるのかしら So you get a lot of you know, musical inspiration from her? Yeah, because we,、uh, you know, we write a lot of songs together and、um, uh, that was one of the, the, the ones that we liked and decided to put on the record, you know, so、uh, yeah, I, li you know, I like to write with people, you know, and, and you know, it's all part of being creative, you know. So now, now about the tour, when you tour,、uh, when you do, who's going to be performing with you?、Um, well,、uh, last time I was here, I was performing with T.M. Stevens. <laughs> right. And、um, I made him promise that when I toured, that he would tour with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so hopefully he'll hold, yeah.、Um, and drums will be、uh, Atma, who's on the record.、Mm -hmm. And、um, who else?、Uh, I don't know what the rest of the band yet. So. so, like you were mentioning, that your, your image changed like constantly, but the, what about your music? Does it, does it gonna change from on? There no, on? I mean, I, <clears throat> this is the kind of music that, especially songs like World Affair and Wave of Emotion, that's the kind of record I've always wanted to make through my whole career and through 
whatever the reasons may be, I was never really able to do it. And finally now I'm able to do what I want to do. So, I mean, I just, my main goal, you know, I want to like be able to just keep making records and have an audience that grows with me, you know what I'm saying? Rather than like make one record and have it do something and then all of a sudden you never hear from me again, which happens all the time, you know. Um, but this is totally the kind of music that I love and what I, it's what I want to, you know, keep doing and, and go with it. Uh, Ritsui Kotsen no, oh... ミニライブのイベントがあるんですよちょっと見ていただきたいと思うんですけども、えー、今度の土曜日6時からタワーレコード新宿ルミネ店で、えー、ミニライブをやるとライブやるんですねじゃああのタワーレコードで So you're gonna perform at Tower Records huh? That's correct yeah It's gonna be a live Play the guitar and sing Play the guitar and sing yeah Oh cool まあ、ね、歌って歌って歌いたいことライブね、えー、ぜひともね土曜日6時からタワーレコードえー、新宿ルミネ店でイベントがありますのでぜひともねそちらで、えー、リッチコッツのライブを見ていただきたいと思いますさあプレゼントはこちらをちょっとご覧いただきましょうかはい、えー、あどうなってるんですかこれはあっ色紙とプラのセットが5名でトートバッグがありますねはいえー、いいですねこれ主婦の方に持っていただいて中に大根とか入ってたんですおしゃれさあこちらも5名でございますはい、えー、どんどんおはがきを送っていただきたいと思いますさて、今度このねアルバムでのツアーをねぜひとも見たいなぜならばねあの今自分でやりたかった音楽だって言ったんだけどすごいグルーブ感じんだよすっげえグルーブが叩き込まれてるそうなるとレコードでこんなにグルーブが叩き込まれてるってことはライブだともっとすごいんじゃないかってまあ俺は一方的に思うんだけどどうなんだろうねマサ thinks that he has to see this album live because you know the album is really grooving and if he sees this live there'll be more groove going on oh yeah oh definitely yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be funk and hardcore Definitely. Well, I just, you know, I had a bunch of songs that I had written and I wanted to put them on a record, so I did just that. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like、uh, I've always wanted to, to,、uh, to make、uh, a kind of record.
もうすごいですね私結構この人買ってます、えー、リッチー・コッツェンえー、もう本当スーパーバカ的ギタリストなんですけど最近あの新作「ウェーブ・オブ・イモーション」リリースしたばかりなんですけどもねこの「ウェーブ・オブ・イモーション」なかなかいいアルバムなんですよねえちなみに私あのライナーノーツ書いておりますんでえそのあたりもよろしくということでですねリッチー・コッツェンの,あのスタジオライブございますんでチェックしていただきましょうすごいですテクニックリッチー・コッツェン in your face ベイバー Welcome to Tokyo Bazaar, Richie. Yeah, thanks a lot.、Uh, this is your what?、Uh, how many times have you been in Japan so far? Three. Three times? Yeah.、Um, last time I saw you was、uh, you were here with T.M. Stevens,、That's、out、correct. of control. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's talk about your new album, Wave of Emotion. Okay.、Um, Jamie, could you tell us why you decided on the name Wave of Emotion? That's the title track.、Um, Yeah, I mean, it's kind of an emotional album in a lot of ways because、mm -hmm. it's,、uh, it's the kind of record I wanted to make for a long time. Yeah. And,、uh, you know, for whatever the reasons were, it kind of took me a while to get to、mm -hmm. the point where I could, could do this record. Right. You know, and it's,、mm -hmm. it's just finally, you know, I can go into the studio, produce my record, and、uh, make it sound the way I want it to sound and put the songs on it that I want to have on it rather than having someone tell me what I should be doing. You know, it's a nice feeling.、Mm. So, this is a.、Uh, you could probably say that's a true Ritzy Katzen album. Pretty where, much. Yeah. yeah. You, well, you know, it, this record really is、uh, more of a, of a song album,、mm. you know? And the focus is more on the, on the, like the drums and the lead vocals,、mm -hmm. you know, which is kind of the essence of most popular music,、mm -hmm. is the groove and the melody. Right. You know, so it, it focuses on that side of what、mm -hmm. I do more so than, than the guitar. But there's、right. some cool guitar moments yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Right. Late 80s, or I guess mid 80s,、uh, with the rise of LA metal, you, know, you had a lot of.、Um, I guess that, it started, things started changing, I guess, from the late 80s. But before that, it was just like everybody was like getting into the right hand、uh, mode, you know? Sure.、Um, were, were you really into that kind of phase, just like how fast you can pick up? No, I never really was into like the concept of how fast、mm. I was playing.、Mm -hmm. I was more into like,、um, like physically what I was playing、mm. and what it was doing. Within the context of、mm. the music I was playing.、Right. You know, so I was more like thinking, well, I kind of hear this line in my、mm. head,、mm -hmm. and so I want to translate it on tape、mm. and, and, and get it on tape.、Right. You know, not necessarily、yeah. thinking, well,、um, this has to be this fast. It has to,、mm. you know, I never really looked at it that way. It tends to make it a little less musical、right. if you、yeah. think in that, in that kind of、um, mm. context. Okay,、uh, your future. What do you plan to do with your music? Oh, you know, I just kind of want to keep doing, doing、mm -hmm. what I'm doing and hopefully build an audience you know,、mm -hmm. that can kind of stay with me for the duration, you know, as opposed、right. to having one big record and then disappearing.、Mm, right. Yo, I'm Richie Kotzen and you're watching Tokyo Basara. Ain't no hallucination. Is my imagination running away from me? I once was fantasizing, but now I'm realizing love is the way for me. My past is lost and jaded. How long have I been waiting? Oh, she's the one for me. I've been looking for someone to come who can make me. To my decision, I just can't go on living my life without someone. I never had a reason, but you got me believing that something's going on. I've been looking for someone to come who can make me understand. Since you came into my life. There's a reason why we're here. I've been stoned. This time I got what I pray for. Was it long? But now I know what I wait for. I will stay for you. 
got a new record out. It's called Wave of Emotion. And be sure to check it out. Hopefully, I'll be bringing it live to you in a few months. I'll see you then. はい皆さんこんにちは、あいがいけんです。さあ今日はですね、ここ、えー、オンエアイーストでですね、あのリッチゴッツェンと TM がね、ライブをやるということで、もう早速リハから遊び行っちゃおうかなということで、もう早速リハやってるということなんでね、覗いてみようかと思います。よかったら皆さんもご一緒にどうぞ、今日はゆっくりお付き合いください。Well, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah.、Uh, so, how are you, man? I'm fine. Come talk to me, bro, man. Everything cool? Yeah. Did you see party up last night? Oh, man, the party was dope. Voice is too much. Yeah. House music and partying. Oh, yeah. Africa design. It's just when Richie's playing solos, I can. Hi, Ogozai Mas. Can't see you. 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 はい、ということでね、リハに来てるんだけども、リハ始まってますね、なかなかね、えー、もうリッチ張り切っちゃって、いっぱいギター弾いちゃって、やっぱうまいですよね、ギターね、歌もすっごい上手だし、だから TM なんかうろちょろしてて、まだドラムも来てないみたいなんだけど、まああのね、リハ一段落ついたら、いろいろメンバーも捕まえて、えー、こう、いろいろお話聞いていこうと思ってるんでね、付き合ってください、よろしく。
、えー、さあドラマも到着してリハも一段落して、えー、メンバーにここにね、えー、ステージに遊びに来てもらってるんですけど遊びに来てもらってる俺が遊びに来てるんだけどね、えー、これからいろいろと聞いていこうと思いますそう、so, um... Thanks for coming. I mean, hey man, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having here. me here.、Yeah. Yes. Atma, first、yes. time on MTV. It's not bad. Yeah. So, Atma さんというドラマの方で今回初参加ということなんですが、リッチーと GM は前にもね来てくれたんで、えー、まあいろいろとねライブのこと聞いてこうと思うんだけど。So how's the trip going so far? I've been having a great time and、uh, working with Richie. You know, he's like my brother, so it's been nothing but fun. This is not work. Yeah. Pause. You know what? You just said it all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Nah, it's cool. You know, I didn't know what to expect when we got out here. We didn't have much time to,、uh, to rehearse and get it together. We knew it was going to be a spontaneous show. A lot of improvising, a lot of soloing, and just really, generally, a real musical experience. So, yeah, it's cool. Oh, this first time playing in Japan. Yeah, yeah, my first time in Japan. I really love it. The audiences are great. The girls are fine. There's a lot of funk going on in the house. Uh, we didn't have a lot of time to rehearse, but TM and I just hooked up like this. It was minutes. And we've all been playing with Richie for around seven years or so. Songs. So it's your first solo tour in Japan? Yeah, it's, and it's my first time、uh, headlining with a solo artist.、Yeah. Yeah, I toured on,、uh, on the Geffen record in America,、mm-hmm. and it was a lot of fun. But we were the opening acts, so we were kind of subjected to all the abuse that opening acts、mm-hmm. have to deal with. <laughs> So、this time, yeah, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, it didn't go that far, but you know, this much stage room and no monitors and all that is different. This time, it's really cool.、Mm-hmm. Have a fun playing the new stuff. Really, overall, very exciting. It's gonna be good.、Yeah. We've got a lot of space in the show, in the show and TM's got a, a solo P funk、yeah. section that he does. Hop、uh-huh. has got his reggae <laughs> tribute. <so> Great. Great. <laughs> It's a show for all styles of music. Really,、oh, yeah. fans of all music. So you've been here last time with T. Yeah, T.M. I came over、yeah. here. From, that was my first time ever playing in, in Japan. In Japan, it was a great experience. I didn't, I didn't know that I was that. I didn't know that that many people knew who I was in the first place. You're famous here in Japan. Here. I had no clue until I really big rock hero. So.、Um, You know, it was really fun for me to come and play my songs this time.、Mm-hmm. You know, the key to having a successful tour, I think, too, is when you got a band like this with such strong individuals, is, is having a lot of space and, and freedom、yeah. in the set. And you'll notice tonight, there's a lot, there's a lot of, you know, interaction going on. And Atma jumps up and comes down and talks to the audience. And、okay. you know, TM does his thing. It's really cool. It's gonna be a great show. So、um, the songs might be a little bit different from this. It's gonna、album. be different because you gotta realize the album you got like. All the overdubs, the keyboards, the clapping, the、yeah. organ, and, and there's only three of us. So part of the reason to, you know, to, to make it work is you got to have that excite, excitement and energy, you know, and the freedom to improvise within the context of this. I mean, when we're playing the songs, we're playing the songs.、Yeah. But like at the end, like we do a lot of stretching out,、mm-hmm. soloing, improvising.、So. Right. Yeah, I mean,、um, that's why we can work on each other's projects. Yeah.、Um, Because on、um, my CD, he puts such a flavor on it、mm-hmm. that it inspires me what he does.、And、it's almost incestuous, but we keep working with each other.、Mm-hmm. And you know, I work with him, he works with me, and, and I think that makes for a greater project because you have different flavors.、Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't. Too, it's important. It, it's like when you record a record, you, you're、uh, to capture a moment. You know,、uh, it's like in that moment, we're going to represent the song and someone plays. Stone or Wave of Motion, they're gonna get that all the time.、Mm-hmm. The thing that, that's really cool about a live show、mm-hmm. is that it's different every night. You never really play the song exactly the same. And if you got someone like Tiana, someone like Atma, who has such a strong musical sense, you know,、um, Tiana's gonna play the bass different than I played it on the record, so it's gonna have a whole new、mm-hmm. flavor. Some of the songs even sound better live,、mm-hmm. you know, because they just see people with their own perspective on that and what's going on. Tickle the mother. Yeah. By the way, you got、um, a new single coming out. Hi, hi. Only you with Noko-san. Noko-san, right? And、um, I should make a point here. It's a very interesting comparison.、Um, most people perceive us、mm-hmm. as heavy metal shredders, and 
for me, that's partly true. You know, all the fast stuff and all the heavy metal, but as an artist, I wanted to expand my music. Mm -hmm. So this record has the heavy metal, but it also has some pop and some funk. Uh -huh. You know, and similarly with, with Richie, to stand up here all night and play the guitar, it's cool. But I think songs are more important. Ultimately, the thing is about it, yeah. an instrument is what, for me, and I don't know if I speak to TM, but my whole purpose for playing the guitar is to create music with it. And, you know, I did my first record. It was more on a record label that was based around technique and that kind of thing, so mm -hmm. I kind of got popular for that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And uh, TM got to be popular because of this chop and stuff, but ultimately the reason you develop the chop is to communicate the musical right. ideas and create music with it. So, I mean, a good message to the, to the guitar kids, you know, it's important to learn how to play the guitar, learn the instrument, but once you get to a point where you're comfortable with it, you really need to take those tools and start creating with them. Right. Because unless you really start creating something, it doesn't really mean anything to have all that facility, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's just my opinion. Our opinion. Hey, great opinion. I mean, or the, what do you think about like the Japanese players? Um, um, well, I'm, I'm not as around? see. It, mm -hmm. I'm really kind of new to the whole mm -hmm. music scene here. Yeah. The TM's been here a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. and this is like my third or fourth time ever even being here, so mm -hmm. I don't really know um, a whole lot of, of what's out there. Mm -hmm. um, I know some of the guys from the band X. X, yeah, yeah. right. And um, like he did. Uh, Yo uh, Yosh Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Yeah. And uh, but. Um, uh, the thing that I noticed the most is that the, the people who are listening to the music and buying the records are really supportive and into, they're more into the music than they are the controversy. Mm -hmm. And like, if you go to like, like in America, it's, it's really, what sells records there more than anything is controversy, is what I'm really noticing, you know? And it's like here, it seems like, you know, it seems like it's more music that people are, are interested in and that's so much controversy, which is, to me is, is really what it's about. Yeah. Um, how should I translate controversy? Controversy, um, I don't know. Uh, Unimportant stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> things that aren't important. For instance, for instance, um, there's two black guys in the band. Yeah. And in America, they would go, whoa, what's yeah, going like, on? If this is America, the whole interview would be based upon the fact right. that I have a black rhythm section. And it's um, not whereas important. Whereas we didn't mention okay. that. Yeah, the music know. is what's so that's important. that's what we mean right. by controversy. Mm -hmm. You know, or like, well, who went out and slept with who last night? Or what drug is this guy <laughs> using? That's, that's what, that's what kind of hype. Like hype is the word. Yeah, okay. scandal's hype. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, man. So, is there any Japanese artists? Yes, uh, there's so many. Um, I was surprised that when I saw a lot of the, the Japanese bands, <laughs> yeah. they were incredible. Mm -hmm. And also, I like X. I oh, like yeah. their costumes, I like the whole thing. Yeah. But I saw Noko-san in a band called Rebecca. Yeah. And I was playing Hurricane Irene. I was here with little Steven, and there was a bunch of different groups, and Rebecca was on the bus. Yeah. Who's that? Mm -hmm. So since then, we became friends, and I just want to add, I think it's time we mix. You know, you have your American bands, your English bands, your Japanese bands. It's too separate. So if the world is stupid and into racism, we have to start. We have to end this. So I wanted to mix with the Japanese artists and come up with something new. And I think you'll agree that it came out great. So you were with Little Richards here? No, Little Steven. Little Steven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And good luck at the concert, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Um, you're going to come in front. From the back. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna come and represent. Yeah, right. Gotta represent. Oh, he, he always comes yeah. out. I'm my son. Talk to my Bjorki. He's crazy. ということで、えー、そんな感じなんですけど、alright, thanks for your time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for yeah, taking time. Yeah. And peace, my brother. Yeah, good luck. Alright. Metal's 
sticks. Metal sticks, yes. For metal drummers here. For metal gummy bears. Lots of gummy bears. I buy packs of gummy bears. Sorry. Um, Chew and then spit. In here? Just a big pile of gummy bears covered in it. It's good. Good for Oh, oh for. Uh... <laughs>
ということで今日の MTV ロックスはここオンエアイーストからお送りしてまいりました TM スティーブンスとリッチ・コッツェンのライブねドラムのアトマンもすごいファンキーで、えー、楽しんでいただけたんじゃないかと思いますが本当ライブっていうのはねもうレコードとはもう一味も二味も違った迫力なんかこう演奏の内容もねまあ細々といえばいろいろ違ったりするんですが本当は、えーまあ、貴重な体験が、えー、できたんじゃないかと思いますなかなかライブに行く機会のない人もね、えー、今日見てすごい楽しいと思ったらあのまたねぜひ機会を見つけてライブとかに足を運んでみてくださいライブで楽しみましょうそして僕とはまたね MTV ロックススタジオでお会いしましょう